Right, welcome back to the garage everyone. So today the plan is we're going to be fitting a exhaust servo eliminator from Heeltech. This is this thing here to 2022 BMW S1000XR. So I'll be honest, I've not done this before. I've seen a few vids on it. They're not exactly clear. So we'll just do what we can. But I believe it lives in here, this little area up there so just gonna have a little play and identify some bits and then i'll bring you along with me so i think to make life a bit easier i'm going to drop the uh, rear set out of the way that bolt and that bolt drop it down i can get my hand in here then which is where the servo motor is So I just dropped the uh, foot peg out of the way, it's on these two mountains. This is the gizmo that we're going to disable, so this it operates a butterfly valve in here. And it just basically, when it's under low revs, it dampens the noise massively. So the servo eliminator means that the, the butterfly valve is always open, so you just get a little bit more throaty noise at lower revs, so it actually sounds like a bike. So these cables here, we trace them up, they go to the unit, which is... This unit you can see here, in here, can't get my fat fingers in to show you. This unit basically is the servo. Now some people remove the whole thing. All I'm gonna do, disconnect that plug there, I'm touching now, and then clip up the servo body. The reason being is I don't wanna take the whole thing apart. So when it comes to MOT, I can remove the servo body and we're perfectly legal again. So I'm just gonna drop that connector off, this one. I'm going to disconnect that while I've got a bit of access. I won't be able to film it, so I've got nowhere to put my phone. But I'll drop that off and then I'll come back to you. Right, then, that was a bit of a faff, but as you can see, I've now disconnected the plug which is there. You can see them four pins. They connect into the serial eliminator four pins there. So I'm just going to plug that into the bottom of that. That little plug there, which you can see just down there, and then we'll just check everything's okay, then we'll continue. I'll, so I'm just going to clip it in, and I'll be back with you. So just to show you through this little hole here, which is below the seat, pull the wiring connector out, so you can get to the top. And I've got the heel tech here, just going to bang it in. It only goes one way, I've just discovered. Sorry, it only fits one way. So, I'm just going to clip that on, be back with you. There we go, that's all clipped on. The heel tech module. I'm going to stick this module behind here. But for now, we just need to see if the bike starts and if we get any error codes. And uh, hopefully, we're all job done. Just going to get my key. So far so good, no error codes. Just press the noise button. Right, very good. In my opinion, that's made it absolutely mental loud. <laughs> right then, through my opinion, that made it stupidly loud too loud really i live in a nice estate so i'm not having that um i'm going to try putting the baffle in see if that makes any difference if not i should be ditching this idea but i'll still post a video so you've got an idea if you ever buy one or you fit one but just be warned it does make it very loud i'm just going to put this baffle in
Yeah, right, that's the baffle back in. So let's see what it's like now with the baffle in. Much more civilised with the baffling. Still too loud though. Have to wait and see.